Hey guys, my name is Joseph and welcome back to my channel. So, um, in the last video, I showed you guys my portable signal generator. Okay, this one. And I tested it using my USB or oscilloscope. You know, that's the software running there. So, um, today I'm going to make um, a very simple circuit, you know, to like to actually test this uh, signal generator in combination with my USB oscilloscope to see how good they are, how precise they are. So let's get started guys. All right guys, um, for the circuit we are going to build, uh, I will be using a diode, if I can, okay. So I will be using a diode, okay, a diode, this one, I don't know if, if you can see, but it is a 1N007, and I will be using a resistor, okay, I will be using a resistor. So, um, let me grab my paper here. And let's draw. Let's draw what we're going to build. Um, so, if you don't know, uh, a diode is a semiconductor device, right? Which uh, can block the flow of of the current in one direction. Okay. Uh, so this is the sign for the diode. Okay. And here we have the plus and negative the anode and the cathode and uh, we have the flow of the current in this direction here okay so we use the diode as I, I just said to allow the flow of the current in only one direction okay you know when a forward voltage is applied the 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 diode will allow the flow of current you know and when a reversed uh, a reversed voltage is applied the diode will block you know this is the reverse voltage okay the reverse voltage this from my from from negative to positive um, however there are some diodes you know that can allow the flow of current from negative to positive like a zener diode okay but for now let's just focus on this uh, rectifier so uh, one of the the applications of the diode is uh, what we we call of uh, or what is called um, half uh, let me write it here okay half wave rectifier or rectification okay rectifier so we are going to build this circuit here so for that we will have uh, an input okay we will have an input uh, and here we have our diode okay and we will have our resistor here connect to the ground and this and here we have our output okay, let's also connect this one to ground like this so what's what's happening here is that this um this half wave rectifier you know is a circuit that can uh allow like it gets an input of ac ac signal or it it gets an input of ac signal okay like this and it will rectify uh, this signal and give us a DC, you know, a DC signal. However, let me draw the diagram here. Uh, let me draw the diagram like this. Uh, see? Okay. Oops. I just connected two of it. It's okay. So here we have the. Here we have our input okay our input 
So this circuit, what what is going to do is going to um, to rectify these signals in in order to 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 have or in order to get a DC, you know, a DC uh, signal with like a a pulsating DC signal. Okay, so this signal is going to be like this, like this, okay, like this. Okay, and so on. So what is going to do actually is we are getting rid of the the negative swings of the AC signal, and we're just remaining with the the positive ones. Okay, so let's actually build. We we are not going to go through the math. You no, know, you no. Know, this is our diode. Uh, oh. One four double oh seven, and here we have our resistor, and we have our current flowing from positive, you know, conventional current like this, and uh, here we have uh, like a diode itself has a uh, Let's say it will have a um, a voltage drop, so I'm just going to call it VD. And for resistor, it will also have a, a voltage drop, VR. Well, the main focus here is for us to test this circuit, you know, in practice and see how our uh, and see if we can generate an AC signal using the signal generator. Um, Actually, in diode, you know, a rectifier in general, it has, uh, it takes from 0 0.6, okay, let me zoom it out, 0 0.6 volt to 0 0.7 volt of forward voltage, okay. So, um, let's start building our circuit. It is a very simple circuit. Let me uh, get my red boy here so here we have um, here we have the the positive you know the positive input and the negative input so the diode we will be connecting the diode to the positive so from from positive from positive you know and now let's let me get the let me get now my resistor. Okay, I have the resistor here, and I'll be connecting it like this directly to the ground. Okay, like this. So now um, I'm going to connect this jumper directly to the ground. Actually, I'm connecting the resistor to the ground like this. And then this is our output. I will uh, anyway. I can just take uh, red or yellow as an output. Okay. Okay. It's going to be like this. This one is going to be like this. Our output. Okay. So now uh, I'm going to uh, uh, set up my signal generator i'm going to use this probe and connect it to the channel one of the signal generator like this okay this, this is going to be my input i'm going to on the signal generator all right so uh here i get 10 uh as you can see 10,000 hertz so I'm going to set it to 100 hertz. And now what I'm going to do, do I'm going to uh, uh, connect the input to the circuit. Let me off this one also. To the input like this. Okay, it is a very simple circuit. Negative to the negative. Like this. All right, so I'm going to connect the, um, the channel A of the oscilloscope 
where's the channel A? So this is the channel A, so the, the, gray, the red. I'm going to connect it to the input. Okay, the input signal, just to read the input signal like this. All right, now let's take a look at the computer. Okay, surely we have our uh, input signal. Let me just adjust the voltage peak to peak here. And all right, we have our sine wave. Let me see if I can reduce the time domain. Okay, we have our sine wave. Okay, you can see we have our sine wave. Oh, nope, just put five. Okay, all right. So we have our sine wave. Now let's read the output. Okay, I'm going to connect the output. So um, I'm going to connect the output now, the channel uh, B or the second channel of the oscilloscope. So the output, okay. And we have to be, we, have, we, we, after connecting the output, we should be able to read, let me to connect this post here, and, and connect this one to the ground. Okay, and let's read our output. All right, so now let's take a look uh, at the computer all right so we have our output okay you see we have our input and our output so I'm going to change the voltage peak to peak on the on the signal generator to 2 volts okay to 2 volts okay Two volt. You see, as I decrease the, the voltage peak to peak, the the sine wave, you know, the amplitude of both both signals are getting uh, changed. Okay, so I can just decrease to. Let's actually leave it to, uh, yeah, to four. Okay, four peak to peak, and here. Uh, uh, on the computer let's get some measurements let me get some measurements in the out output uh, the frequency okay okay surely we have uh, 100 Hertz let's get voltage peak to peak mm. okay okay surely we have four volts of peak to peak okay and uh what else uh okay so the output we can get the voltage peak to peak okay we have voltage peak to peak you see okay you see the voltage peak to peak is 1.5 and you can you can uh, see it now let me zoom it, zoom in, zoom it in. All right. So you can see that the voltage is one one point five. Okay, one point five, and this is the voltage peak to peak of the output signal, the channel B, and the voltage input is four point like four volts. Okay. So if let's increase the frequency and see how the waveform is going to behave. So now we have. Now we have 100, 100 hertz. Let me increase 200, okay, 300, 400, 500. Let me change the, let me change the time domain. Let me change the time domain. You see, enough. Uh, 500 and the waveform is still is still you know uh 
on the good shape though you know there is no deformation on the on the waveform so i will keep increasing to uh okay 1k you can see one uh, kilohertz and the voltage still um okay what's wrong all right all right um yeah so the time let's change the time domain and you can see that the voltage especially the output the the is still okay so guys thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next video